I thought I thought that was uh, extremely um, detrimental to, to us trying to compete and win a quarter, win a half, win a ball game. I, I just think you know, the, the, like I've been saying it all seasons, those self-inflicted wounds that we have to clean up, and they come back and rear their ugly heads sometime. And we'll make some make some ground, make some traction in terms of alleviating those type of mistakes. And then boom, out of nowhere, you know, it's it just one of those nights where it just it really spilled over. Um, and, you know, it was up and down the lineup. It's not just one particular person. It's up and down the lineup. So we take care of the ball. Who knows? We, you know, I'm, at the end of the day, you know, we hold them 17 points in the fourth quarter. That's how we have to play every quarter. That's how we have to start the game. Um, Miami is going to force you, you know, to, to, to play at a level that may be a little uncomfortable for guys who are not, who are not physical or, you know, competitive. But it's sort of like the identity that we're trying to create here um, and the type of players we want in here. Uh, guys are going to go out and dig their heels in the, in the mud and really not afraid to get dirty and get in your chest and, and just be physical and competitive all the way across the board. Um, and my hat's off to them. You know, they, I've, I've been in the East now for the last nine years, and now, you know, coming back over here and playing them, it was just the same old Miami Heat, you know what I mean? Just just that uh, hard hat and lunch pail. And um, they, they, they did a really good job of, uh, you know, taking advantage of those opportunities when we turned the ball over, getting themselves extra possessions, especially early in the first half. And then you had six offensive rebounds in the first quarter alone. So... It's another learning lesson, um, something else we get to look at and continue to work at and try to get better at. Darvin, before the game, you are talking how Orlando was, you know, everyone's kind of kicking in and everyone's sharing the load tonight, especially in that first half. Um, the LeBron on-off numbers were kind of striking and, and, you know, every time he was checking out, Miami was pulling ahead. The guy, a, a lot of your supporting guys got there, but what do you kind of say to those guys on night where it just seemed to take some time for them to catch up there and pitch in? I mean, just slow down and try to trust uh, trust one another. You know, that's the biggest thing. Uh, to try to, you know, play good team defense. Everyone get hits. You know, don't, don't just think because one of your teammates has, has their body on a player when a shot goes up that you don't have to hit that player as well. You know, and, and try to secure a rebound and hold them to one possession, and then offensively, just trust the execution. You know, we we, we think we have. You know, Miami does a great job in thinking that you have an advantage, and then next thing you know, here come one or two extra bodies behind the, your, your your initial defender that's on the ball. So, what you thought you had, you you find yourself in a compromising position once you you know you think you've beaten the guy that's guarding you. So. And then that forces you to make the right play. And uh, there was a lot of times I thought we held the ball maybe one or two seconds too long or one or two dribbles too long. Um, and we didn't play downhill enough. In the second half, uh, specifically in the fourth quarter, I thought we played downhill a little bit more. Uh, we didn't settle. We, we, we tried to attack the basket. And, you know, it is what it is. Uh, again, we'll, we'll, we'll learn from it. We, we just have to learn how to not, you know, and. and no one, everyone means well. You know, they're trying to do their part to, to fix the situation if, if the game is not going, you know, our way. It's just when you get that mindset of wanting to fix something, fix it with your teammates. Don't try to fix it by yourself. <clears throat> Darvin, um, you went to Juan in the, in the start of the fourth quarter. I think he might have played the whole fourth. Um, what did he give you guys? And when you talk about kind of – things like sacrifice, doing things for your teammates. Was, is that stretch kind of, um, does that exemplify kind of what you're looking for from Absolutely. supporting players? Absolutely. I mean, he had, he didn't score, but he had seven huge rebounds in 13 minutes. Yeah. And, and three offensive. He got his extra possessions. He covered up some holes defensively. He was able to switch off on certain guys move his feet, stay in front of perimeter guys, get low, get in the stance in the post, and, you know, try to battle with Bam, uh, which is no easy task at all. Uh, but, yeah, just, just that guy that's going to, you know, 
put his head down and do whatever what's needed of him or what the team needs in terms of getting extra possessions, being a physical presence, uh, battling, guarding different positions, setting great great screens, rolling, um, running hard, you know, in transition, getting back in transition. And just doing, you know, the little things that, that very rarely show up in the stat sheet. Last night, we talked about the way you guys attacked Orlando's size and how you kind of made that work. Um, different animal with, with Bam and, and Jimmy and kind of their maturity tonight. Did you feel like that was um, too much maybe? For, for I don't think I think I think you know it's we kind of I felt like we got down on ourselves a little bit, you know, our spirit just because we were making so many mistakes that you know I don't think you know obviously they they'll force you into some competitive errors just because of how hard they play they be in Miami but for the most part I thought our spirit wavered a little bit just because we knew we were missing opportunities by turning the ball over by giving up offensive rebounds and like you get it's hard to win when I mean 26 turnovers for us 31 points off those turnovers for them I mean it's hard to win like that 19 second chance points so you look at here, it is almost 50 points, 49 points to be exact, that, uh, well, 50, um, my, my math, uh, my brain is all over the place. But you give up 50 points that you could have controlled, you know, and you look at their side, they six turnovers we, in which we got two points off of, and that's just them being solid. Um, and, and we have to learn how to just, just be solid, not be in a hurry, take our time and get the shots that we want. And you saw Bam and Jimmy take their time, get to their shots, um, get to their spots, and, and uh, just, just play a simple game and constantly go through option one, option two, option three, and then exhaust all options within their execution. So it is what it is, man. We'll get better from this. It sucks. It always sucks to lose, and it's disappointing, but we have another opportunity on Friday. I mean, you told us in training camp that your preference would be to find a five to start with and go with that the majority of the time. But injuries and illnesses have gotten your way. That said, you know, is, is something like this, like 26 turnovers, a dramatic, um, tough night, um, can that lead to you getting off that stance? So I need to shuffle the deck. Yeah, I mean, we'll look at everything, man. I mean, and, and having said that, and, you know, it's this is a great question, a very valid one at that. Um, you know, I don't know how many more nights that Lonnie and Austin will go, you know, not score. You know what I'm saying? Like like that, that's an enigma in itself. You know what I mean? And, and so um, we'll, we'll, we'll figure this out. We'll figure this out. You know, it's good, like I said, it's good to have Juan back, have that option, that guy available. Um, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Like once we look at the film, you know, it's going to make us cringe even more because a lot of this was self-inflicted. Uh, just us being in a hurry at times, or trying to play in a crowd, or pass through a crowd, uh, not getting hits, not getting box outs. It starts there, really. Uh, we can talk lineup changes and all of that, but no matter who's out there, we're not mentally focused to play the right way and do the dirty work, the simple things then it doesn't matter who's out there. We, you know, it'll be a struggle. Coach, uh, LeBron's turning 38 in two days. Are you planning him to take some rest or keep him playing uh, the same amount of minutes? We'll see, man. He, he, uh, he, he's a fierce, fierce competitor. And he know the team. We're having our ups and downs right now. Um, we're on the wrong side of the win-loss column. So, you, you know. He, he's not going to allow himself to be taken out of the mix. You know, he, he, he's does, he does as great a job as I've seen ever um, of making himself available and, and, and being able to produce physically at an extremely high level. So, you know, we'll, we'll wish him happy birthday while he's putting his jersey on to go play. Thanks, Coach. Yeah.